people call me Miss Debbie. I have a history of being angry, just angry at the world. I would fly off the chain for no good reason. I'm a recovering addict with eight years of sobriety. You know, I was on drugs for a lot of years. I was a crack addict, and you know, it was always nothing but thinking about that next hit. One day I was just sick and tired of being sick and tired. I prayed and I prayed and finally God, he heard me all the time, but in his time he answered my prayer and he took the taste for it out of my mouth. I've always believed that an idle mind is the devil's workshop. So I knew I had to stay active. I kept hearing people talk about some great dinners and Bible studies on Tuesday nights at a place called Fort McKinley. So I decided to give it a try. I'll never forget the first dinner I attended. It was great. The love and genuine care you felt when you came in was unbelievable. Everyone was so friendly and it makes you feel wonderfully at home. One thing for certain and two for sure, Fort McKinley was the perfect place for me. I began to attend the life skill classes, which were so fulfilling. The study material was Journey to Freedom. Turns out that was the exact journey I was on. I learned to be much more in control of my emotions and to accept what I cannot change. It was so freeing. Once I received my life skills certificate, I continued the process by attending the car ministry program. They blessed me with a 93 Thunderbird. Having a car meant that I was no longer secluded, that I could get around, I could see more things and meet more people. I always gave my time to the New Path Food Pantry and to the clothing store in Trotwood. Until God led me to Fort McKinley I never understood how serving could make you feel so complete. After a year and a half at Fort McKinley, I figured it was time to reaffirm my baptism, to make sure people knew that yes, I do believe in Jesus and that he has changed my life. I am truly blessed and look forward to what God has for me next.